Okay, so I'm a combination of both very excited and very annoyed and frustrated because today would have been like an unboxing to end all unboxings, but unfortunately my uh, tripod is broken. So um, I'm going to do like one unbagging unboxing, um, but the other is going to be too difficult to like navigate with one hand. So I'll get um, my, I guess I'll get a new tripod tomorrow and go from there. So I like have am on this um, box kit and I Googled like all the best, best boxes. Um, and I kind of wanted to do like uh, just creative ones and ones that I don't see all the time. I mean, I did subscribe to like Cosbox and FabFitFun and BoxyCharm. Um, but an interesting one I found, which is my first to arrive since I went on my spree, is called Pip and Lola's. And Pip and Lola's is a organic, well, let me just explain it. <laughs> yep, it's an organic company that sells uh, soaps. So, one-handed, I am going to <laughs> show you the soaps. So the first one, and it's $10 a month. The first one is called Darling the Goats Ate Lavender again. And guess what it smells like? Lavender. It smells really good. Um, the ingredients are all, again, organic. So you have rice bran oil, palm oil, uh, coconut oil, kernel oil, water, olive oil, organic goat milk, um, lavender, and lavender essential oil. And it's a company out of Pennsylvania. So that one smells really good. I love lavender. I, this is like a rant I've been on in the past. But I love lavender because I have insomnia and anxiety issues, and lavender is wonderful that for that. Then there's another full-size soap. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, ooh, this one's called Cup of Joe. And it smells like a cup of joe, obviously. Um, espresso Kitchen Handmade Soap. So it's for the kitchen. Um, coffee soaps are wonderful for getting all of the delicious things we put on our dinner plates off of our hands. Scented with coffee beans and coffee liqueur. This soap smells good enough to eat, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> little little don't eat soap joke. Um, again, it's made of all the same oils. And then, ooh, interesting. Ground coffee, vodka, and coffee liqueur. I could see some people desperately wanting to eat that. Just saying, step away from mouthwash. That was dark. That was a dark comment. And then they give you a couple samples. Um, so this one is, ooh, licorice lather. Smells like licorice. Very good. And the last sample is, <sighs> Ooh, lavender lemonade. Those are like two of my favorite things, lavender and lemon. Throw some cayenne in that bitch and I'd be ready to go. Okay, so I and this one's made of the same oils I read I talked about before. Um, and lemon and lavender essential oils, lemon lemon juice, lavender buds, and lemon peel. So this is a cool box. I would say it's completely worth it because if you get handmade soaps, it is they run at least five dollars um and i know this because i go to the farmer's market all the time and if you're interested you can go to pip and lola.com and get a box so hope you enjoyed